What's good, YouTube? It's your boy P Money. So when boxing does something right, I'm of the mindset that you gotta give props where it's due. You gotta give credit where credit is due. And this fight, Crawford versus Porter, fits that billing for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been wanting to see this fight for a while now, and I'm glad that it has come to a fruition, you know what I'm saying? And I believe that this has the opportunity to be a fight of the year candidate, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think this is big for both, you know what I'm saying? I know only one belt's on the line, but uh, this could be that building block for both, you know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. If Sean Porter wins, he could be that guy that gets that next crack at Errol Spence again, you know what I'm saying? Um, him and Ugas could go ahead and unify, and then the winner go ahead and get undisputed going, you know what I'm saying? Just in case Errol Spence Jr. needs a little bit more time to heal and rest, you know what I'm saying? Because I do think he plans to, to come back. And I hope it, that he can and be healthy doing so, you know what I'm saying? And either way, this fight is pretty much going to see what type of welterweight fights that we'll have coming on the horizon, you know what I'm saying? Because for me, the winner has to have only your Dennis Ugas on their mind, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't really think any other person should be considered, you know what I'm saying? Unless it's Earl Spence and everyone else that's below them should be falling in line, you know what I'm saying? And fighting each other so we can see what type of guy could be the undisputed champs, you know what I'm saying? next guy after they you know decide who is the best of the best in the welterweight division you know what i'm saying if they want to do that but i'm hoping to see a lot more welterweights that are younger starting to get step up fights that really allow them to solidify their their position so they can get the next crack you know but we'll see how that goes hopefully with this pay-per-view, they can feature some of those types of guys if they're already in training camp, you know what I'm saying? If they can if they can do something like that. But hopefully this card as a whole does well, because I think that matters for the sport, you know what I'm saying? I think it matters a lot, especially with all the fuckery going on in the sport. These guys having a successful pay-per-view, I think, will help a little bit with that especially for a fan like me because i know this is going to be a very close and competitive fight um, of course i've got bud crawford but i think it's going to be a very close competitive fight because i think there's a lot of things that sean does that can really bother a fighter like crawford but i just think crawford's skill set is a little bit too much for Sean Porter and I think he can have there's multiple ways that he can defeat Sean but Sean only has one way but if that way is very effective like I feel it could be we could see an upset and Sean being the new WBO champ you know what I'm saying but I don't think that'll happen and rightfully so you know what I'm saying I've been wanting to see Crawford versus Spence and this will be a great step in the right direction to see in that. You know what I'm saying? Um, it'll be very good to see who is the best of the best at the welterweight division. I think it's time. You know what I'm saying? These next, like, a year and a half around there, we should know if everything with Earl Spencer's injury is good. You know what I'm saying? I hope that we'll see who the next 
welterweight undisputed champion is. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been looking forward to seeing who that will be. And I think this fight is a very good step in that direction. And shouts out to both fighters, you know what I'm saying? To get in there and get this fight done, you know? I know it seemed like it, it took quite a bit, but hey, it's happening. So it is what it is. Definitely looking forward to seeing this one. Whoever wins is going to be got to go after Ugas, you know what I'm saying? That's the only option. You can't be fighting no lower tier dude. You got to go for Ugas because we need to see who the undisputed champ is. You know what I'm saying? It's like a tournament right now where Ugas gets the winner of these guys. And I hope Ugas is in the crowd and he's in there. You know what I'm saying? Whenever the winner is announced, you know, and they get that one cracking. But I don't really have too much else on this one. This is your boy P Money. Tell me what you guys think. And I'm off this.